Welcome back. I'm Olivia Flavius Romantic Home, and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget friendly spring Easter decor crafts. So, I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget, and I truly believe. You do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now listen, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway, and I'm going to leave the details in the description box below, and follow me on my Livia's Romantic Home Facebook page, where I share daily crafting inspiration with you all. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. Let's create a super easy and adorable Dollar Tree lantern wreath bow topper. So from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed this $1.25 ribbon. I'm simply going to loop it over on itself four times, trim it off, and do the same thing with the second set of Dollar Tree ribbon. The first one is the blue check gingham. It's super adorable. Run to Dollar Tree and grab some. And then they have out this new little ribbon that has pastel bunnies on it. I think it's so fabulous. And then I'm just going to simply zip tie both of the pieces of ribbon together and fluffy out the bow. So I bought this um, lantern at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and it has been a great one. The next thing I want to do is take the remainder of the ribbon and use that for tails. And then I'm just going to zip tie the entire thing onto the top of my super adorable lantern. Now you don't necessarily have to use this bow for a lantern. You could use it for a garland, for a wreath, pretty much anything that suits your fancy that you need a big pretty bow on. I'm going to give my bows a little bit of a twirl and then dovetail the ends. And I simply do that by cutting a triangle shape in an upwards direction with my scissors and ribbon. That's going to give you a nice little fancy um, bow. Now I love this set of bows but I thought it needed a little bit of burlap color to kind of break up. I felt like it looked a little bit too much like a baby room bow. So I'm using this Dollar Tree wired ribbon. It's a burlap color. And again, I just took the ribbon, looped it over on itself, added in some tails. I'm going to zip tie that really great in the center here. I might use this for outdoors. Another great reason to use zip ties. And then I'm simply going to zip tie the entire thing together. What do you guys think? Do you think that the burlap ribbon kind of broke up the pastels or did you like it just all with the pastels now I'm taking some little leftover florals I'm adding some hot glue popping those into the center part of the ribbon and then Dollar Tree has these super adorable little bunny legs and I think they look perfect coming out of the bow I hot glued those in and then grabbed a couple of, couple of little plastic Easter eggs again these are come in like a 12 pack at Dollar Tree they're cute they're pretty um and then i'm gonna add a little dollar tree buddy inside and then some of these flickering flameless candles from amazon i'll leave the link um, to my amazon account in my description box which is olivia's romantic home amazon or you can go and search flickering flameless candles i do suggest to use flickering flameless candles if you have small children or pets they're super safe they are battery operated but they come with a little remote timer you guys can easily turn them on and off or set them on a timer where they're only on for a certain amount of time but here is the final look i think it's fun and fabulous all of the toppings came from dollar tree of course the lantern was from hobby lobby you guys can grab those 40 percent off um look for your sale catalog or you can go online and look and happy crafting For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to create a super adorable little bunny bowl. So from the Dollar Tree, grab a little white bowl and grab one of the stuffed bunnies. And you're simply going to trim the bunny in half. And sorry for all of you furry friend lovers, but we are going to make this super adorable. Now I'm going to take my little bunny top and I'm just going to glue the stuffing in. And be careful on this part, but you're just going to glue the stuffing part of the bunny. And then you're going to hot glue Mr. Bunny to the side of your candy bowl. I created this and then when my daughter came home I showed it to her and I was so excited I was like oh my gosh look how adorable this is and I had popped some eggs in and she was like mom why aren't there candy in here so anyway I'm gonna have to go pick up some fun Easter candy I don't really keep a whole lot of candy around the house but anyway back to the DIY um, I'm just gonna take my little bunny hands and you want to stretch the bunny arm around the side of the bowl that's gonna get your bunny to sit more upright on the bowl like he's holding the candy bowl and I just thought this was so cute and fun and then you're gonna do the same thing to other side of the bunny bowl and I 
actually saw this DIY on one of my socials somewhere floating around and I'm so, so sorry. I can't remember who posted it, but if you know who posted it, please tag them down below. But I just thought it was a super cute idea and I think I might even be doing it a little bit differently, but it just popped into my brain and I happen to have the <laughs> supplies on hand. I think you should also go ahead and hot glue the front of the bunny body and that's going to keep him on there. And here is how that looks so far. And I think it's super adorable. You can also take and trim off his little feetsies and just simply hot glue those on the end. I actually tried this several ways. I tried it with more of the stuffing on and it looked a bit strained. <laughs> So, but you could try it, you know, with the stuffing on, you can see where I had removed that part and then I'm re-gluing the feet on. I personally like it better with the feet. I also tried it with like the longer bunny legs. Maybe that's how I originally saw the DIY, but again, it seemed like it was just a little bit too long. So I'm probably gonna use this at my entryway table, or I also think it'd be really cute to use in a bathroom and put like, Put like some cute little soaps or hair scrunchies or really anything easter related or if you just love bunnies i think this would also be super adorable for a kid's room um and then i think i even added one more dabble of hot glue but here is how mr bunny is looking so far dollar tree has this um let's see eight ten i don't know it's a bunch of eggs they're super cute pastel colors and i simply pop those in you could fill those eggs with candy which i'm going to do for my daughter she was disappointed about the no candy part but anyway i think i hope you guys love this i think it's adorable um let me know what you guys think and happy crafting Let me share with you how to create this super beautiful, easy spring cottage wreath. This is gonna be a super romantic wreath, so get ready. Okay, so from Walmart, I had grabbed this lamb's ear, um, just base. It was left over from Christmas. I got it on clearance, and then I added part of a Hobby Lobby garland to it. Then I'm adding this beautiful play saucer. I'm just gonna simply zip tie everything to the wreath base, and I added in a little bit of hot glue. Then I'm taking some of my coffee filter roses. I hot glued um, little clothespins to the backs of my roses so they could stick into my wreath, but then I could also remove them if I decide to change things up. Now to get the little hook on the back of the plate saucer, you're simply going to take some E6000 glue, a paper clip, um, and then a piece of duct tape. And I will leave at the end of this video a quick little tutorial on that. Now to create Create my bow. I'm using this beautiful Hobby Lobby ribbon. They have it out right now in the Easter section and it has beautiful roses on it. I'm going to create a super easy bow by taking the ribbon loops, loop them over on themselves six times, and then find your center. And then I'm going to zip tie the center of that and fluffy those loops out. I'm gonna repeat the same process with the satin ribbon, but I think I only did four loops um, on this one because I was kind of running low on that satin ribbon, and this is wired ribbon left over from Christmas. So once I have the loops created on that, I'm just gonna simply zip tie the entire thing together and then onto the wreath. Once I had the bow attached, I took another piece of ribbon. I actually took the satin ribbon, layered that on top of the roses ribbon, and then with a zip tie, I simply zip tied it and then just kind of gathered it and did a little bit more zip tying to kind of ruche it and swag it down and around the wreath base. And then I had this bundle of florals from Hobby Lobby. And side note here, all of their spring florals are 40% off, so they're a super 
great deal, you guys. And then I just added some little detailed touches here and there with just the ends of the ribbon. Don't forget to dovetail your ribbon to make it a nice clean edge. And bam, we have a fabulous spring wreath. This is very budget friendly. Try to use what you have. And if you guys can, try to make those coffee filter roses. So the majority of these florals are those coffee filter roses. They definitely save quite a bit. They're a little bit time consuming, but I'm able to do about 10 to 15 in an hour's time. I just put on a show and have fun and happy crafting. For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make a super easy little gingham Easter Bunny napkin holder. So from the Dollar Tree, they're carrying these super adorable pink check gingham little Easter bunnies. I think they're so cute. I grabbed two packs of them. I just love the color pink. You guys know I love pink. And I'm going to simply just hot glue them on to these napkin rings. I found the napkin rings at a thrift store in a pack, but Dollar Tree has napkin rings and you guys could also use little shower curtain rings, wrap them with some twine and then hot glue your little bunny boo to that. Now I'm going to take this napkin. This is just a decorative napkin and I'm going to simply fold it in an accordion style fold back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I do believe I shared this fold with you guys back in the fall. Um, I need to look up some new napkin folds. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have any fun ideas for folding napkins and what your tips, tricks, and hacks are. Or if you just like a very simple little elegant napkin for your tablescape. I need to do an Easter tablescape for you guys soon coming up. But here is how this is going to look popped into my little bunny boo napkin ring holder. I think it looks super adorable. You're going to fan the top out. And then there's several different ideas you guys can do without breaking the bank for creating an Easter tablescape and I'm going to share with you guys a couple of different ideas. Um, for some reason I have a hard time doing this napkin fold sometimes. Okay but bear with me give me grace. So from Hobby Lobby I grabbed some 59 cent little um, check papers and then I'm using this Dollar Tree charger, a thrift store play, and then this cute little Hobby Lobby pink and checking bunny and then here is my little buddy boo on that. You could also add like an egg garland to your table centerpiece. Here's a another idea using that same check. Um, it's just a piece of paper. But anyway, Hobby Lobby had these um, round woven baskets on clearance last season. I'm adding a white plate. Again, my little bunny check plate. That was from Hobby Lobby. And adding my little bunny boo napkin on. I don't know why I'm saying bunny boo. I guess it just rhymes or it sounds cute, but bear with me. <laughs> I like to make up little things and I do say the word little a lot. Apologies if that does not float your boat, but my mom always said it. So I think I picked it up from her. I'm adding in a cute little carrot and then Hobby Lobby has these super adorable bunnies. They're super inexpensive. Go grab some, they're 40% off now. And then there's a garland idea, which I'm gonna share with you guys in the next DIY. I think it turned out super adorable. So many fun ideas you guys can do for Easter. I really need to get out all of my tablescape decorating ideas. I can't wait to share with you guys. You don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing table, home, and decor idea. And happy crafting. For this DIY, we're going to take the coffee filter roses that I shared with you as how to do in my last video. And if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, I'll try to repost it or leave a link in the description box below, but you simply make roses out of coffee filters. And you can see this is what I've been doing in my spare time on Friday night. I'll put on a show and just go to town making coffee filter roses. But what I'm doing is taking mini clothespins. I found the mini ones at Hobby Lobby and I'm hot gluing them to the back of my coffee filter roses. I'm doing this because I do want to use these in my Easter decor, but I want to have the ability to remove them from garlands and um, be able to store them and reuse them for like Christmas or, you know, different, you know, wreaths or different things like that. So anyway, it just seems like a pretty logical thing to do. And plus it just makes it easy to pop onto garlands or wreaths. And so anyway, I did a ton of these and then here is a really pretty garland. I found it at Hobby Lobby. It was $24.99 I believe and then those are 40% off so I feel like that was a pretty good deal I think that made it oh gosh about $18 but I think this is a really pretty garland because I feel like it's really whimsical and you can simply just 
take your little coffee filter roses and pin them on. You can also add some greenery to the backs of your roses, which I did on some, and the jury's still out on which ones I like better. I think that this looks really cute. Um, the clothespins can kind of show some, but if I had this like attached to a mirror or a mantle or wherever I'm going to put it, I could definitely kind of arrange them around where you couldn't see them, or you could simply hot glue some leaves in and around those areas. But here is how this is looking. And I just wanted to give this as an idea to you guys, because I had somebody comment and say that my DIYs just seemed really expensive now and they couldn't do them on a budget anymore. And I really want you guys to know that with a little bit of time and creativity, you can make beautiful decor. These roses were next to nothing. I dyed them with a little tiny bit of craft paint and it just takes time and some creativity. And I know not everybody has time to do something like this, but I just want you to know that you can have beautiful decor on a budget. So here's an, here's the idea for hot gluing leaves to the back of them after you have the clothes pins on. I did that on a bunch of them because I didn't want the clothespins to show, but it was pretty time consuming. And although I did just take an hour in the evening when I just had some spare time and kind of had fun with it. Um, I like making handmade decor. To me, it is just, you know, really just, it shows love in my home. And I know that I made it with my hands. It keeps me busy. And also you guys, it helps me with, an, with anxiety and depression. When I feel anxious, I start crafting. And so I've had some anxious things going on in my life. So you guys can see the pile of coffee filter roses that I made. Um, but anyway, go back and check out that tutorial. Now here is your favorite puppy dog, Benji Bear. We have had the opportunity to go on so many nice spring day walks. You guys, it's been so nice out today. It was 73. And if you guys have ever had a terrier, even taking him for two walks a day, look at how busy he is. This is in the evening right before I started editing and he still wants to play. He's squeaking his little squeaky toy. Now it's gotten later as we're speaking. I'm doing this voiceover and he's sound asleep, but roof, roof and hello. We love you guys to all those puppy dog and kitty cat fans out there. Benji Bear says hello and he loves you guys so, so much. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. For everybody that comes back and watches my videos and that has subscribed and followed my me on my little YouTube crafting and decorating journey, thank you all so, so much. I know so many of you all have been here since the beginning. And those of you that have joined in along the way, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama. And I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I have six years of content on YouTube crafting and decorating. So you guys can go back and click on any of my playlists where I have things organized into seasonal decor. Um, I'm a seasonal decor enthusiast and you can binge watch all of those videos. And I know some people even say that my crafting and decorating videos give them a sense of calm and joy. So Thank you guys for watching and keeping me going, and I hope that I can bring calm and joy to your spirit and some happiness. I am so excited about crafting and decorating for this new season of Easter and spring. And just remember, the, speaking of Easter and spring, it's kind of like a new fresh start. And I wanna give you guys hope because no matter what you're going through, when you wake up in the morning, God has given you a new gift of hope. So I want you guys to seal that into your heart and walk through every day with the knowledge that even if it's going to be a really hard day, God is still going to give you those nuggets of joy and hope and peace and love. So don't let your spirit get bogged down. Look for those nuggets of hope, peace, and joy. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm going to hug all of your hearts so tight. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Livy's Rant on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And until our next video, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.